And now it's time for news from around the world in Meanwhile In. Meanwhile, in the UK, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is fighting to save his job after new details have been revealed of his own non-compliance with the UK's COVID policies early on in the pandemic. So apparently, this is from way back in May of 2020. As many as 100 staff members were invited to a quote, bring your own booze party in his backyard. That was at a time when officials were instructing people not to socialize with more than a single person. He does a bring your own booze. He didn't even cater it. That's how callous he was to these people. But um, he confirmed on Wednesday that he did attend the gathering of about 40 people, um, but said he felt it was a work event. What, what, why would that make it better? You're not supposed to do work events. It's This is May of 2020. This is early in the pandemic. Lots of fear. We hadn't yet come up with, you know, ivermectin and all that stuff that made us feel like this wasn't anything we needed to worry about. Caroline, it seems crazy that he would do something like this. Yeah. Also, saying it was just a work event, it's like, we know your work. You're the prime minister of the United Kingdom. Like, you're not just some random businessman somewhere. Like, the public knows a lot about what yeah. you do every day. He's just like, Oh God, you love to see another incompetent <laughs> leader sometimes. So you love good. to see it in another country at the very least. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. By the way, the party happened on a day when Britain reported 363 deaths. That is, and, and by the way, obviously much smaller population there. So proportionately like to compare that to the US numbers is much higher. Now we, we've had multiple scandals like this, you know, Gavin Newsom and, and others not abiding by the restrictions that they set. But this was so early on, so Mm -hmm. callous. And he's now apologized, by the way. But a a recent poll from just two days ago showed 66% of respondents said he should resign. Those are not the sort of numbers you'd want to see as prime minister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (sighs) Well, meanwhile, in the UK still, a huge sea dragon has been identified as one of the greatest fossil finds ever in the UK. And since we are the home of the Dragon Squad, we would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge Dragon's past. So yes, they found this in the Midlands, been described as one of the greatest finds in paleontology in Britain ever. And I believe here you're gonna see a little bit of the fossil, absolutely massive, 180 million years old. You can see there what looks like its spine. 10 meters in length, its skull itself weighed a ton. And so I think we have a a rendering of what this sea dragon would have looked like 180 million years ago. And um, you know, he's a bit chonk, he's a bit thick, but he's a good dragon. Anyway, Caroline, it's just weird to think that at one point, I mean, obviously it's a very long time ago, 180 million years ago, but you could have been swimming and just come across a thing like this. It's a very different world now. I know it's probably not great that my first reaction is like how cute he is with his little belly, but um, because yeah. he's absolutely terrifying. But yeah, it really does. Like in all seriousness, stuff like this just puts our world um, in such a crazy perspective of not only like the in amazing creatures that once existed, but creatures that like probably still do exist. I mean, the ocean is a crazy place. Like we think the Earth has some bad stuff going on. I just feel like, I don't know, <laughs> down there, you just truly another universe. It's wild. Yeah. But. yeah, and it's also, you know, not not to get like sad or depressing about this, but like there are some amazing creatures still on Earth that probably won't be here in like 50 years. Mm-hmm. So if you get an experience, mm-hmm. a, a chance, an opportunity to go see some of these creatures and some of the places that will be changed, like the world is constantly changing, absorb as much of it as you can because you never know when the last sea dragon will pass. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.